If you've been wondering how the Shelby gang really feels about each other, we've got answers. For five years, the cast of Peaky Blinders have played family on screen. But what happens when the cameras aren't rolling? It turns out that in this case, life imitates art, because this cast is so close that they consider themselves family. But then again, not everyone agrees, and a guest star has hinted that off-screen, it's no party. And now, we need the truth. By order of the Peaky Blinders, is it really one big family? By now, just about every Peaky Blinder fan knows that the cast contains a few real-life family members. In fact, the actors who play cousins Michael Gray and John Shelby are actually brothers in real life. And though Joe Cole has since left the show, leaving his brother Finn as the only Cole in the cast, the family connection is still going strong. Only this time, it's through marriage. Tom Hardy has just surprised fans. And not because of his return from the dead as Alfie Solomons, although that did blindside many viewers. This time, we're taking notice of Tom because he's actually married to one of his Peaky co-stars, Charlotte Riley. For the first time since they tied the knot in 2014, the couple are part of the same project, even though they don't share the screen and Charlotte left in season 4. Even though Tom no longer has his boo on set, he's got the next best thing, friends! In fact, even Paul Anderson, who plays Arthur, was immediately bowled over by the Hollywood actor, who's become one of his favorite co-stars and buddies. He elaborated, Tom is full of surprises. The more surprises, the better. It inspires me because I love that kind of freedom. And he's not the only Shelby brother who was fond of Mr. Hardy. Despite playing rivals on the show, with Tommy Shelby shooting Alfie in the face when the cameras aren't rolling, Tom Hardy and Killian Murphy are inseparable. Well, I guess that myself and Tom um, we were both lazy. <laughs> <laughs> lazy non skiers. Words, man. <laughs> and honestly, Tom isn't the only one with a soft spot for the leading man. It turns out that the entire cast really loves Mr. Murphy. It's Killian's show on and off screen. When Joe Cole left Peaky Blinders, we weren't the only ones to get upset. Paul Anderson was heartbroken, and not just because he lost his on-screen brother. It turns out, these two were BFFs during filming. It really it upset me, you know, because me and Joe are, are friends, you know, off camera, believe it or not. <laughs> and um, yeah. watching it last week as well, I mean, I ain't gonna... I, I ain't gonna lie, I sort of, you know, I had a little tear in me eye. But it was time for Joe to move on. When he famously explained that, like the Shelby gang itself, the show actually belonged to Killian Murphy. But while fans wondered if there was more to the comment than it first seemed, he just meant that Killian was the glue holding everything together. If you ask the rest of the cast, the same can be said off screen. And really, it's a product of his upbringing. The actor told GQ that he really doesn't want to be a world famous celeb. Instead, I just want to be decent and kind, and not to be ostentatious, not to talk about yourself too much, and do good work. My wife or my children will tell me if I'm failing at that sh but that's all I really want to do. And that determination on set has won him a lot of friends. In fact, the late Helen McCrory actually revealed that Killian was the main reason that the atmosphere on set wasn't just good, but fantastic. Fantastic. She added, You get to know all of the cast, and because I do a lot of my scenes with Killian, he's become a good friend. And Sam Claflin agrees. When he's not playing Oswald Mosley, he's basically fangirling over Mr. Murphy. The actor revealed, Most of the scenes are with Killian and me. Truthfully, every day I was on set really felt like a pinch me moment. It felt a bit like an out of body experience. But he's not Killian's only fan. Annabelle Wallace, who played his love interest before she left the show, said she'd definitely never turn off a chance to work with him again. She she explained, He's the most humble guy, with impeccable form. He is so good. He's a real lesson in class, in all areas. Killian and I are great friends. So it's not just fans this actor has impressed. His colleagues are also not shy to sing his praises. Well, with one possible exception, the guy he shot in the face. I think everybody is. Excuse me? So I'm being so fascinating. <laughs> I have this effect on people. You know what I mean? It's like, we can really just act. When Tom Hardy found out how Alfie would leave the show, he did not like it. As Helen McCrory explained, Tom was not a happy man, and that was quite a death, so there's no coming back for him. She was wrong, and nobody was more pleased about that than the Shelby brothers. <laughs> After the whole killing Alfie thing, Killian was asked whether he missed Tom Hardy on set. He responded, always, every day, yeah, of course. It's an incredible creation that he gave us. It was great to catch up with him and work with him again. He and I are pals of old. You know, he's a pal and he's a brilliant, brilliant actor, as you say, and we had great fun. Like, Steve wrote these tremendous scenes for us, and uh, 
It's always a pleasure working with great actors. Wait, hold on. Do these guys really expect us to believe that behind all the drama and tension we see on screen, the cast is one big happy family? I think they do. But not everyone agrees that the atmosphere on set is all warm and fuzzy. For some, it's a real challenge. Looking in from the outside. You can't deny that there's chemistry between the cast of Peaky Blinders. But what's the secret? According to a few guest stars, the series regulars get on so well because of their history. And one other important feature, damn hard work. Alexander Siddig, who appeared on the show in the third season as Reuben Oliver, explained what it was like to work on the series. His answer? It is not fun. It's full on. The Peaky Blinders lot are a group of method actors. They have a pack mentality and they hang out together. They're fierce. But strangely, Alexander admitted that this is exactly what makes the cast amazing. He added, They're honestly lovely, lovely people, just not when they're in character. But even when they are in character, intimidating the guest stars, they're doing it like a family. Hello, everybody. So I stick the camera in your face, but it's behind the scenes sort of thing. Oh, Finn's not with us. Why is Finn so bougie? In fact, Harry Curtin admitted that when he first joined the show as the youngest Shelby brother, Finn, he was surprised by how welcoming everyone was. He added, It is like being in a family, and seeing the other cast is like coming back to aunties and uncles. Hmm. Hmm, well, one thing's certain, the guys in the cast are definitely buddies. But is everyone? What about the ladies? Peaky Blinders may have started off with just two ladies in the main cast, but over the last five seasons, we've seen more female talent join the ranks. But what the show initially lacked in female representation, it made up for with a lot of love. When Sophie Rundle was first cast as Ada, she'd literally just left acting school. But she says that despite the number of A-listers on the cast, she's never felt out of place, even though it can be intimidating to work with screen legends. Oh god, the cast, it's, they're amazing, <clears throat> and wonderful actors and lovely, lovely people. In fact, when she was asked to sum up her overall experience with the cast, she had one word, fun. The actress revealed, It was like this massive family, and that was really nice. And they're amazing people as well. Helen's always been one of my heroes, and Killian is incredible. And of course, she's not alone in admiring the late Helen McCrory. When the actress passed away ahead of the final season of Peaky Blinders, the cast was shocked, and many of them admitted that they felt as though they'd lost family. As each actor shared his experiences of working with Helen, it became clear that she was part of the magic behind the scenes. For Killian, losing Helen meant losing not just a dear friend, but an amazing colleague. He explained, She elevated and made humane every scene, every character she played. It was a privilege to have worked with this brilliant woman, to have shared so many laughs over the years. And his on-screen brothers agreed. Joe Cole explained that working with her changed his life calling the actress a pure joy to work with and learn from. And even though Helen won't be appearing in the final season, there are a few new ladies who will, including Anya Taylor-Joy, who totally nailed her peaky debut and won over her castmates' hearts. Having Anya on set was was huge for, for me, I, as in she's sort of my partner in, in, in crime in this, in this season. I mean, I hope it comes across well because we had a lot of fun doing it. But not all the ladies are happy about their roles for Natasha O'Keefe. Killian's fine, but there was one actor she really wanted a scene with. Well, I um, unfortunately haven't had any chance to work with Tom Hardy, um, but with Killian, pretty much all my scenes were with him, and obviously he's a fantastic um, person to act with. Um, yeah, I had a great time. Who knows? Maybe she'll get a chance in the final season? For even more Peaky Blinders info, check out some of our other videos. Until next time, thanks so much for watching, and stay awesome!